my channel. That was so funny. I feel like my hair is like what old people wear. Like, I don't know. I feel like a woman. I mean, I, f I am. I am obviously a woman, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say without offending someone. Does that look better? I can never do that when girls are like, eh, it just doesn't work on me. It looks kind of weird. It looks like I just tried to like kill someone. Okay, let's just take a moment of silence for my hair and pray that it gets better. Okay, here we go. So today I'm going to be doing a review on some brushes I picked up from Walmart. Now, if you guys have seen any of my other brush videos, I'll link them down below. Um, I have a video on dupes for Sigma brushes. Actually, that's the only one I have. <laughs> I'm going to link down below. If you guys want to find some pretty awesome dupes for Sigma brushes, check it out. I'll link it down below. That's a really good video to watch. Um, I'm all about finding good quality brushes and not paying a lot of money for them. So, um, my sister actually was the one who introduced me to these brushes. Thanks, Laura. She didn't even know she was going to help me in my life, but she did. Um, she picked up a random brush from Target to, like, put on her powder or something, and I was like, Laura, that's probably not a very good brush. I don't think you should get it. It looks like it's cheap. And she's like, whatever, yellow swag. I'll use it. And then she ended up using it, and then I borrowed it and used it, and I've washed it multiple times, and it's still an amazing brush. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's from the Walmart. I don't believe it's the Walmart brush because isn't the Walmart brand, is that great value or is that something else? Yeah, great value is the Walmart brand. It doesn't say great value on it, it says, I don't know what it's called, but it's in the brush section. I think it's called Essential, it doesn't even have a brand name, it's just like Essential, blah blah blah. You guys will probably recognize it because it looks like this, it has like the white bottom and then the, the darker tops on the top of the brush. Um, so this is a blush brush and I believe this was like 10 bucks, which I honestly think is a little pricey for just a regular brush. But now that I've used it and I can see kind of how it works, I really like it. I do think it's worth the price. Um, I love how dense and how thick it is. It's not, it's not just like a really thin blush brush. You can really just like swirl and really like do your thing with your makeup. Yeah, yeah, that is the blush brush, and I picked that up a long time ago, and then I decided to head back to Walmart and look at the other brushes that they had, and I picked up this set. I actually hauled these in a haul, and I did a get ready with me using them. I'll link those down below, maybe, I, if I remember. I, I tend to upload them and not watch them before I post them, and, like, I'll edit them, and then I'll, like, upload them, and then I don't watch them, and then I forget, and then I look back, like, ten years later, and I'm like, oh, link it down below, and I was like, oops, <laughs> I haven't linked it for five years. Anyways. Yes, amen. So these are the brushes. They are dual-ended, is that what you would call it? Um, so it looks like this. Yes, pretty pretty. So we'll start off with this one. You get a um, angled eyeliner brush and a spoolie. The spoolie is pretty nice. It's pretty high quality for being just a regular spoolie. I really, really like this one. And the angled brush is fantastic. I only have one other angled eyeliner brush, so I was glad to have a backup one. Um, and then you get a pencil brush on this side, and bam! Um... Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> and you get a fluffy blending brush on this one. On this one, you get a slightly bigger fluffy brush, so it's more just, like, for using it under concealer. Or if you really want to blend that eyeshadow out, good girl. Like, if you just want to, like, pff, get it out, this will work. Um, so it comes with a big blending one and then a flat, a flat shader brush. So, honestly, this little bunch right here, I think it's perfect for beginners. It's honestly all the brushes I'll ever need in my life. But I'm a little bit of a crazy person when it comes to makeup and brushes and I decide to buy way more than I need. So I have like 10,000 blending brushes and all that stuff. But um, yes, I love these brushes. I have washed them. They have not shed any. Um, any? They have not shed at all. They have not shed. They have not shed. I always try to add too much detail. I just got to cut it down and say the facts. They do not shed. <laughs> yeah, these are the brushes. I, 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 I mean they're pretty good. <laughs> Um, oh, and I believe these were $11.97. So, you get three really good brushes. The only thing I have to say is that if you like to store your brushes standing up, it's kind of hard because you don't want to, like, mess up the bristles by sticking these in, like, you know, you don't want to, like, set the, set the brush on the actual bristles. But, um, if you're not, if you just throw these in your makeup bag, I think this would work perfect because you can just be like, oh, oh my gosh, my whole life is just in this brush set. And then you get this one. And I don't know, I think they have some other brushes. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't think they do. I'll check and see if they have any more, and if they do, I'll probably end up buying them, because these are really good quality. I've washed them, like I've said, they have not shed on me. They have not given up on me, so I will not give up on them. This is what they look like. Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes on the brushes of Walmart. Um, I hope you guys check these out. If you're at Walmart next time and you're like, I need some brushes, go check these out. They're, they're awesome. I have no bad thing to say about them, except for the fact that I wish these kind of came and in, like, each an individual, individual, individual brush so that I could stick, stick, <laughs> stick, 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 <laughs> that reminds me of a little girl I used to babysit, she'd be like, <laughs> okay, I wish
wish these came as individual brushes so that I could stick them up in the thing like a normal brush. But they don't, which is fine. You can just throw them on your vanity or something. So, review on these brushes. Overall, I love them. I think they're amazing. For the price, I think they're a little bit pricey. I mean, they're not, but they kind of are for someone who doesn't have a job and can't, like, just buy everything she wants. That's me. Um, <laughs> well, I have jobs, but they're seasonal. I need to stop talking. This is getting way too long. Love these brushes. They're great, great, great quality for the price. Check them out. Let me know what you think. Here they are. Amen. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye. <laughs>